So you've printed out a split box, and now you'd like to know how to put the whole thing together. Here's a quick demonstration of how to do that. First, let's talk about the pieces. So this is the left top back all button or stickless or leverless variation. Here's the left top back stick variation. Here's the left top front piece. Here's the left base. This is the left middle piece. Here's the left base mini. Here's the right middle piece. This is the right base. And then this is the right top. As you can see, I've already wired it up. And as you could also see, I am no expert when it comes to the wiring, but this is where the main PCB goes. As you can see, it's got a little USB that comes out here to the changer, uh, this little uh, D-type mounted panel. This also has one half of the uh, RJ45 or Ethernet cable connecting system. This is a breakout board. And then the cable that goes from that will go over to the left top back piece, whichever one you have installed. Same thing in the stick version here. Okay, cool. So it's all printed and wired. Let's actually put it together. For most uh, cases here, I think that it's pretty clear where things sort of like slide slash snap in. But again, I'm just going to make super clear for this. So note that in the back of the middle pieces here, there are these grooves. These grooves correspond to little slides in the bases and in the tops. So let's put them in there. Let's put the middle in, snap it in. It should feel pretty secure. Let's do the same thing for the left top back. I'm just going to use the buttons version. Uh, you'll notice that there are these little uh, grooves, little groove joints. These go into the same idea on the base. And then as you move it closed, just make sure that the slide here is going into the back of the middle piece. And then snap it closed. Great. Should feel pretty secure as well. Same idea for the left top front. Again, into the grooves. Close it down. Find the spot where the slide goes into the groove. Bam. And it's all closed. That's actually already half of it done. Uh, then the right middle piece. Again, same idea. It's got the grooves on the back. These grooves go into the slides here. So let's do that. Same idea. And then the right top. Um, this bigger piece will go into this empty-ish area. So let's make sure that it's all lining up well. Yep, and again, make sure that the grooves and the slides of the top piece all match up. So let's put it together. Kind of an awkward angle for me here. Hey, all right, cool. So, great. That's actually already both halves put together. Now, if you'd like to, you'll notice that there are screw holes. So this is a screw hole between the middle piece and the top piece, screw hole between the middle piece and the bottom piece and then screw hole between the base piece and the top piece. Um, if you'd like to, you can screw all those in just with a, any M4 screw. I have a Phillips head screw. I don't know if that matters. Uh, same idea for the other side here, right? So you can see. Uh, I don't usually do that, but if you'd like to make sure that everything sticks together, that's a great way to make it happen. Um, one piece doesn't have that, however, and that's the left top front, and that's this piece, and that's because it's intended to be removable pretty regularly. Uh, and that is because this is where the cable goes for the connection between the two halves. And it's also when you're carrying it around where the um, USB cable itself can be, can be stored. Uh, so let's just demonstrate putting this together. So into the piece, huzzah. And then this side will go into the other breakout board on the other side. Huzzah. So it's now connected. Great. Should still have no problem closing this up. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. Um, 
if you'd like to, you can print out these other pieces as well. So print out whichever of the left top backs you prefer. I put the buttons one in here, but if you'd prefer the stick, that's great. But if you do want to print out both, I recommend also printing out the mini base. Uh, and that's just so that you can protect the wiring of this guy whenever you're not actually uh, actively using it. So to put these together, it's again, the same idea as all these. Just find the grooves in the side here snap and then on the other side also snap and yeah should be should be pretty secure uh, there you go so as far as sliding these two together um, I'm gonna move it around because this is a kind of an awkward angle for me all right cool now it looks like it's the left and right side to me but not to you anymore so this is now the left side you know how it works um, pretty obvious you just take two halves you'll find that there's a kind of spot here where they easily match up. You should anyway. And then just slide them together like that. Uh, there's little latches in the front that should latch pretty well. Um, and now this should be secure enough that any, any one half or even any one piece that you may be holding, so I'm holding onto the right base here and just kind of wiggling around, and nothing comes out. That's how it should be. Um, you shouldn't be able to sort of bend it in this way. It should feel secure. You should be able to move it around. It shouldn't pop out easily one way or the other if it's all connected in, in the right way. As far as removing these two, sliding them out again, the way that I do it is I grab onto the right hook here with my right fingers. With my left hand, I will hold on to the back of the left piece and then kind of push forward on the right piece. So I'm kind of pushing uh, from on the right piece with my right fingers and I'm pulling on the right front with my right fingers, great. Um, and then just slide it out. So it should be should be pretty clear. Let me just disconnect this. Uh, great, so there you go. Um, let me know if you have any questions about how this guy works. Let me know if you have any other feedback. I'm happy to chat about it. And I hope that you enjoy the project.